Hello and welcome back to Mid-South Bride DIY. Today we're talking about making this tissue paper flower wall with tissue paper flowers from Dollar Tree. It's an easy project that can be used as a backdrop for weddings, baby showers, bridal showers, engagement parties, and more. For this project, you'll need poster board that can be purchased at Dollar Tree, a hot glue gun, hot glue sticks, and as many tissue paper pom-pom flowers that you'll need to make the size of backdrop that you want. These tissue paper pom-poms come in a package of two from the Dollar Tree. They are meant to be hanging, so they're normally rounded, but for this purpose, we're going to pull all the tissue paper toward one direction and have a flat back so that they can attach to the poster board to make a flower backdrop with the tissue paper. As you can see in the video, I like to start these off by rounding the center around each other and making sure they wrap so that you can't see any space in the center. This gives them a much more flower look instead of a pom-pom out of tissue paper and when they're all bunched together it makes it a nice fuller flower so if you start in the middle just twirl the paper around and then as you go you will go around one side then the other putting all the tissue paper fluffing it up toward the center then when you're done you'll have a flower like this with a flat back and you'll be able to attach them to the poster board for this project, I use two pinks and a white. Dollar Tree has many other colors, and you can also make your own tissue paper flowers out of any color you want. We do have videos on how to make tissue paper flowers without buying them already pre-cut, so you can find those on our channel. To create the backdrop for the flowers to attach to, we used Dollar Tree poster board and then just duct taped it together on both sides so that it was a little bit sturdier. We were attaching this to a wall, so we didn't need the back to look that pretty. You could attach this to poster board. You could also use palettes to give it a more rustic look, or you could go ahead and buy a large canvas or something like that. Once you have your surface to attach the flowers to, you'll go about gluing them down. This process is super easy, but like fluffing the flowers, it does take a little while. You'll want to have glue, hot glue on each flower, either do it on the poster board or the flower. I tried both ways and they both were effective. So there's really a lot of wiggle room in this project, which is what makes it so easy and so great to do. If you're using the poster board from Dollar Tree, you'll have about three tissue paper flowers for each row and then about four down. So you'll want six packs of the tissue paper pom-poms to make your flowers per board. Keep that in mind if you are using these exact supplies. It's pretty easy and overall, if you're doing six per board, that's only $6 and seven for the board. So you end up getting a really, really large and very pretty project for a very cheap price. This is a great project to do if you have a large area that you want to cover and make a large impact, especially color-wise, but you don't have a huge budget. The tissue paper flowers from Dollar Tree are super cheap and easy to make. They're also not that time consuming. This only took a couple hours total. You can also make as many or as few poster boards as you need to fill the space and then attach them together however you choose to put them up. You could just lean them against the wall like this or actually attach them to the wall with your chosen fixtures. Overall, this project is super simple, super cheap, and it makes a beautiful impact. I love how this wall turned out. It was a big hit at the party we were having, and I hope that this project is super easy for you.